It's always an interesting experience to watch uh, Jen Psaki, the press secretary, engage with the media because with one or two exceptions, it's kind of a love fest. She's basically there um, and she knows that uh, they are on her side. Uh, and what a difference in the level of tension. In fact, there is virtually none um, than what we saw before with uh, the press room in the Trump administration. Um, and with Jen Psaki, she's able to utter the most glib falsehoods in the confident knowledge that she won't, in general, be challenged. Here is a classic example uh, from just recently. Listen. Just one question on vaccines. You know, the president has been pretty critical of the prior administration's handling of this pandemic, saying you inherited a mess here. But when it comes to vaccinations, you are following some of the same playbook here. So does the prior administration deserve some credit for laying the groundwork? Which ones are we following? Well, for instance, uh, former Trump HHS Assistant Secretary Admiral Brett Girard has said that you're following 99% of the playbook they created on vaccines. Uh, he has said that, that the prior administration deserves more credit here for at least getting the ball rolling on some of these. I don't think anyone deserves credit when half a million people in the country have died of this pandemic. So, uh, wow, I take her to be making two points. One is that um, Biden, not Trump, is responsible for the vaccine. And two, that Trump is to blame for 500,000 deaths. Now, who was the guy who actually accelerated the development of the vaccine? Who was the one who established the Operation Warp Speed? Who was the one who provided the support and funding for Pfizer and Moderna and all these companies, Johnson & Johnson? Well, the answer is it was Trump. In fact, they repaid him, these companies did, by suppressing uh, the disclosure of the vaccine. Apparently, they had the vaccine even earlier, but they didn't want to say it. Why? Because it might help Trump win the election. But the vaccine was clearly developed under Trump before the election. And uh, even if the knowledge of it was hidden until immediately after the election, Biden got his vaccine before the inauguration, thus making it impossible that he could have been the cause of the vaccine. Now, with regard to debts, it seems um, uh, churlish or unfair, to put it mildly, to blame a president for the havoc that has been wreaked by a virus. But if you're going to do it, you got to be fair about it. So let's take the average death count per day during the Trump administration or during from the beginning of the virus till Trump left office. And then let's attribute the deaths that occurred under Biden to Biden, because those would be, by the same logic, his deaths. But evidently, this is not something Jen Psaki wants to do. She actually wants to create a kind of transposition. All the deaths, even the ones that occur under Biden, are blamed on Trump. And the vaccine, even though produced by Trump and under Trump, is now attributed to Biden. This is called turning logic on its head. And the most striking fact is that she can utter these glib falsehoods in the knowledge, in the serene knowledge, that no one will challenge her.